Okay, this is a new tutorial. I haven't done one in a, in a while, but um, I found some cool new stuff um, that I wanted to talk about. And I'm still kind of reeling from the new uh, MuseScore 3. So if you if you went from MuseScore 2 to MuseScore 3 and didn't really think, you know, when you downloaded MuseScore 3 that it wasn't going to be much different. It is quite different, especially if you have some or a lot of documents that you created in MuseScore 2 and then are trying to edit in MuseScore 3. That's kind of a pain, but that's another video. So I wanted to talk about creating shortcuts and editing shortcuts and looking up more shortcuts in general uh, to make your life a lot easier. Because if you use MuseScore a lot and have to use it quickly and produce stuff quickly and get it done um, within, within a short period of time, uh, shortcuts can really save your life and, and save you a lot of a lot of time here. So we're going to go and take a look um, at our shortcuts. You can you can access that via the edit menu and preferences. So edit preferences and um, here it, it if you're opening it for the first time it'll come up on general first but um, if we go over here to the shortcuts tab it has a list of everything that is built into it already so just kind of browsing through here, you might find some things that'll be useful to you. Um, I know I found a few things that I did not know before. So take a minute to kind of just scroll through those. Um, sometimes the wording is a little unclear as to what it means, but kind of just experiment and see what happens with some of those things. Um, some of the things that I wrote down, I'm going to kind of paste or um, stick onto the top of my screen. Some shortcuts are, um, and down here you can search. If you're looking for something specific, like I was looking for quicker ways to put accents and things like that in. Accent. So toggle accent, insert it, or I assume get rid of it. Let's see what happens if I go um, out to my document. Click on a note. Uh, control. Is it Shift V? Yeah, Shift V. Oh, and then it goes away too if you hit it again. So note is selected, or Shift V, it adds your accent. Shift V again, and it gets rid of it as, as long as your note is still selected. So go back to Edit Preferences. So Accent. Now, if I wanted to change it to something else, something that's a little more intuitive, you can uh, double click on it. And it shows you what it is. If you wanted to change it to something else, you could type that in here and click add and it would change it out here. Um, so accent, there's one for staccato, shift S. There's one for marcato accents, shift O, tenuto I looked up earlier as well, shift N. So some of these, they're not super intuitive. So you might write them down and put them on a sticky note or something. Uh, one that I added earlier, I wanted to find a quicker way to um, do section breaks. So this over here in our breaks and spacers, section break right here. You can drag and drop it and it bumps everything to the next one. The reason I use, I'm using section break is because it applies it. If you're doing it on your score, it applies it to all the parts in the score as well, which saves a lot of time because the line break does not do that. If you put it a line break in your score, it does not do that in your parts. So I was trying to save myself some time that way. So yeah, you know you can drag and drop anything from the palettes. You can also click on the measure, double click in the palettes and it'll apply it that way. But if I wanted a shortcut where I didn't have to go over here at all, um, we can go to edit preferences. Let's just search break. So here's our section break. Now I put this in earlier, control alt B, but earlier it was blank, just like it is up here. So toggle section break, double click on it. It's already set, but you could go in here and type it in control alt B add. And now it, I guess if you want multiple shortcuts, it'll do that for you too, but it added both of them in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take those, take the second one out. And um, if you decide you want to clear it out and put in a different shortcut, you can click, select it, 
click clear down here. So I'll double click on it, add it back in, control alt B or whatever you want it to be, you can put it in there. Now, if you wanted to do like, I'll, I'll do something that I know is already a shortcut space. It'll tell you that it conflicts with something else. So you can't use the same shortcut for two different things, obviously. So I'm going to put control alt B back in there, which is kind of nice. It tells you if it, you know, it's already used for something else. Click add. Click OK. And if I do control, I have my measure selected. Control Alt B. That is super handy. So shortcuts. If you use Muse Score a lot, check out those shortcuts and it can really save you some time.